this video, I'm going to cover how to subassign different assignments, tests, or quizzes in Notebull to specific students or groups of students. To begin, I'm going to talk about use case and a couple examples. Uh, one reason you might want to subassign is perhaps you have five groups of students doing presentations in your class throughout the semester, and you want each group to present on a different day. So you want that to show up as a due date in their assignments. Uh, what you can do is you can subassign that to each group so it appears as due on their particular day. Another example of why you might want to subassign is if you have a student in need of accommodation for tests and quizzes, you can subassign an assignment, test, or quiz to that student to give them more time to take that. So let's go ahead and start actually in the roster tab. In order to subassign any assignment types to students, you'll have to create groups. So I'm going to go ahead and create a few groups. I'm going to call this accommodation group. I'm going to call my first group accommodation group and I will enter my accommodation student into that group and hit create. And I can name my second group something like standard group or whatever I want. Students will not see the names of the groups so you do not have to worry about that. I will need to add every other student in my class to the standard group. And once you add all the students you want to the group, you just hit create there. So now I've, I have my accommodation group, my standard group. You can have all different groups with any combination of students in them. So you, you might be using groups for multiple purposes. For the demo, those are the two I am using. Next, I'm going to go into my assignments tab. And let's take a look at how you might set this up. You can really do this for any type of test, quiz, or assignment. So I'm just going to say test three, and I'm going to make this one my standard, and I'll subassign it to my standard group of students. And then fill out the rest as you normally would. Go ahead and create your questions for the test or set up your assignment. I'm going to cut through all of that and hop back in in a minute. And then you would just create the test, quiz, or assignment as you would anything else. And again, this is my standard group one, so this is how I'm setting up my regular one for the class. So once you create your first one and subassign to that standard group, you can then go ahead and either recreate the whole test quiz assignment, or you could use the option of choosing add and clicking on import. If you choose this term along with the class that you just created the other one in, you can find it and you can hit import and it will essentially duplicate that same test quiz or assignment. But you will need to go ahead and edit the details. Once you're in here, you can choose to make it visible just to that accommodation group, for example. And if you are doing it for accommodation, you would change the amount of time based on whatever has been communicated to you. If you are changing a due date for an assignment because students are presenting on different days, you would adjust that due date for the group. I'm going to hit save there. And once it saves, you'll see here in this submitted column, there are six students in my class, but here I have zero out of five. And the reason it's showing out of five and out of one here is because I have five students that this one has been subassigned to, and I have one student that this one has been subassigned to. Now, both of these are unpublished just because I didn't go in and finish editing the test, but once I publish them, it will look similar to the ones above, just with different submission possibilities. Taking a look in that grades tab, if we scroll over to test three, you'll also observe that here, my student Daniel, who is in the accommodation group, he is the only one I'm able to grade in this column here. 
once he takes his test or quiz because he's the only one student in that group. Over here, the rest of my students' grades will appear because they are the students in this group. So do take note of that. Students will never see each other's, but this way you will see which group they are in based on how you have subassigned it. My example focused on tests and quizzes, but you can do that for any types of assignments in your courses. I could go into paper one, for example, and edit it, subassign it to a particular group using the visible two, and then change the due date. I could then duplicate that assignment and subassign it to another group as well. Thank you for watching this Notebool tutorial video series. If you need any support with Notebool, please email servicedesk at denison.edu and someone will help you out as soon as possible. Thanks again and good luck.